when you determine pinpoints for your lights using different approaches or using those I explained in the part one of this video, such as based on perpendicular crossing lines that you put initially or you had to move your lines away from joists or other undesired close by objects to locate exact spots, now you are ready to drill the holes. You will need the drill, the hole saw for the size of your light. Depending on the type of hole saw you're getting, you need well-fitting drill bit or hole saw arbor, which is the proper name for this piece. If it's a small size of hole saw, like inch, inch and a half, they already come as an entire unit with built-in arbor. I'm showing two types of arbors in the video, both were purchased in Lowe's. I would strongly recommend to use one with the rubber ring. You hook them up to the hole saw pretty much the same way. The hole saw got thread in the middle, so you just screw the arbor in. Your collar base should be pushed back at this time and when you complete screwing, you push the base inside with drive pins matching holes. Depending on threads of your hole saw, pins might not perfectly meet the holes, so you might screw out a little to match location of pins with holes, so you can push base in. What I don't like about this first type of arbor is locking mechanism. It's not like on springs and you need little manual force to pull it out, but there is nothing really to secure the base other than internally built instrument. If you are not unlucky one, you will get well manufactured piece that even if you grab it and shake off the saw facing down, it will not get unlocked. But once I was that one with a cloud around me and I got defected item. Even I theoretically could fix it using Allen wrench and tie it up the little pain on the side of the arbor, it just did not work, I guess manufactured failure. But regardless, it's too much worry and work when there is much better arbor on the market. Either it's a small hose saw or big one, you hooking it up the same way screwing it in, then pushing the base with drive pins inside the holes, but in this arbor, you locking it with a nut on the back and nice rubber ring between. Very easy, convenient and sturdy. Most of the arbors have wide shaft, so make sure your drill opening can accommodate it. Here is important gadget I recommend to use, the hole saw dust bowl. It's made from silicone, compatible with any hole saw and will keep your workplace clean and free of dust. Put your hole saw with hooked up arbor inside the bowl with shaft out of opening in the middle. Shaft goes inside the drill chuck. You're good to proceed to drilling now. If you drill holes through the wooden planks, you're gonna need some better drill than regular cheap one and preferably impact driver, since it's difficult for high number of hole saw teeth to penetrate into the wood and do the job without powerful mechanical force behind it. To hook up the light is easy. You insert the box with wiring first into the hole in the ceiling and securing the light with snap springs after. If you have a joist that takes more than 50% of the size of the hole, for example, it can happen more often if you use small canned lights and you are able to fit just one snap spring into the opening, do not worry. You can still make it work by drilling or cutting little hole through the joist using big drill bit or multi-purpose saw, just big enough to allow you to insert snap spring through it. If you have big light like 4-6 inches diameter, you're not gonna have this problem, because there is no way the joist is occupying significant space of the hole, not letting snap spring through. I hope your projects will come out with nice beautiful illumination by well and properly installed canned recessed lights.